Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 on the left hand side versus Debian 11 on the right hand side. Now these are both the XFCE desktop environment so a little bit more of a mid to lightweight desktop environment there. And before I get into the video uh, I will need to have a quick look at the RAM uh, usage on boot up because this will be affected once I commence the video. But uh, let's see so started off uh, Linux Mint on the left hand side starts with about 580 megabytes of RAM on boot up, whereas Debian 11 starts off with about 523 megabytes of RAM boot up, so a good 50 megabytes less, and you'll see why uh, as I do this video here. So what I'll do firstly is just minimize this and have a look at the uh, the desktop environments themselves. Now uh, Linux Mint uh, using of course the same as Debian, the XFCE desktop environment, but we can see Debian's using a, a sort of like an older or more simplified version of the XFCE desktop environment. Uh, it's not as functional on the Debian side because the Linux side, you can type in the app that you want and you can actually get it. Can't really do that with Debian. Sure, you can go to run program and, and type in something, but you need to know the specific name of the program, which is just not ideal. I mean, maybe we can search for Firefox. I, I guess, see, it's, it's, it's not user-friendly in that way there. It does have a nice little dock though, but uh, using up a bit more screen real estate there. You can see on the Linux Mint side, it is certainly, uh, just keep everything open, it is certainly using, uh, doing the, the look and feel of any Linux Mint variety. So it's got the dark gray taskbar down the bottom. It's got the Linux Mint icon there. Uh, it's got the categorization of apps as most distros or desktop environments do. But uh, yeah, certainly keep it in line with the color scheme there as well with the green icons too. On the right hand side for Debian, uh, no additional creativity or uh, imagination has gone into this one. They've just used the, the, the stock standard repositories uh, to create this front end here. Uh, if we have a look at the, even the icons, they remind me of icons from mm, the 2000s, early to mid 2000s. It's just just a little bit uh, more simple. And, and you can see where the, the it's small RAM hit, additional RAM hit is occurring with Linux Mint, probably totally worth it. We have a look at the actual file managers themselves. Now uh, we have Thuna as the de facto uh, file manager standard for any XFCE desktop environment. But I have been caught out before. But yeah, they are both Thuna. They're roughly the same version in. Uh, again, although they are the same, they look very different. So you got this nice green mint customized theme here, really beautifully looking. On the right hand side, you've got this uh, old school Eduarda sort of a look. It's it's just not fantastic looking in my opinion. Older icon sets, just just doesn't look pretty. Uh, you know, maybe maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just an opinion based thing, but it's not something that I want to look at every day. Uh, if we right click on the uh, the desktop itself, we can have a bit of a look at the, the options. So a couple of it, little bit of extra options there on the, the Linux Mint side. Uh, I do like it when they actually colorize the, the icons, which they have done. So even, uh, I guess, as per standard on the XFCE variant of, of Debian there. You can even go to the applications menu from there, but I guess why would you want to? It's right up there at the top. Uh, let's have a little bit of a look at the back end and see what's going on there. So the kernels, this is where it, it all changes and gets a bit different. So Linux Mint 21 is based off the latest release of Ubuntu, the long-term service release. So you're gonna get updates for five years for Linux Mint 21, uh, of which Ubuntu is in turn based off Debian. Uh, whereas Debian is really more from scratch based of itself, let's say it. It means it's uh, well, its whole ethos is being a, uh, I, I guess, an older or more stable kernel, uh, that kind of thing. Good for enterprise environments, perhaps web servers. It's just less likely to crash, they say, but they're both pretty unlikely to crash. Um, but uh, you can see that uh, Linux Mint is using the the 5.15 kernel, not the latest and greatest, but certainly a lot later than the 5.10 kernel there. So something to keep in mind if you've got later and greater hardware. Uh, you might want to, to look to use Linux Mint 21 over Debian there for sure. And uh, let's have a look next at the the software managers that each of these guys use here. So here's the problem with Debian 11. I have to search. I can't really search. 
for it uh, like a HUD heads up display. I've got to find the actual software itself. Not a great setup. Certainly not very proud of this, but here we go. So they should be using roughly the same software manager here. Uh, yeah, they look mostly the same. Uh, in fact, there shouldn't be too many differences. Maybe a name difference when we go into there. Yeah, slight name difference because uh, Mint likes to iconize and wordize all of its own software, Mint Update, things like that. But uh, much of a muchness in terms of the actual usability here. You can search for your options, you get your categories for apps there as well. And you've got the access to pretty much all, all the same applications, probably 100% of them. So that is just uh, pretty much it here for today, guys. Just a super simple, quick uh, comparison between Linux Mint 21 and Debian 11. Just to give you a bit of a look and feel for what's going on and uh, yeah, see what might work best for you. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. And I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.